What is the U.S. stand regarding dual citizenship? The concept of dual citizenship is that a person can be a national of two countries at the same time. Just to give you an example, I am a dual citizen of the U.S. and the Philippines. I was born in the Philippines and moved to the U.S. and eventually became a U.S. citizen. However, there is a law allowing foreign citizens or those who are former Filipinos who have lost their Philippine citizenship to reacquire it. So eventually, I also became a Filipino citizen. Now, I am a dual citizen of both countries, U.S. and Philippines. I am a dual citizen by choice. However, each country has its own nationality laws based on its own policy. Persons may have dual nationality by automatic operation of different laws rather than by choice. For example, there is what we call a derivative citizenship or dual citizens by birth. For example, my children, they were born here in the U.S., so they are automatically U.S. citizens. And at the same time, one of their parents is a Filipino, so they also have Filipino citizenship. This is what we mean by automatic operation of law and not by choice. Now, what is the official stand of the U.S. government regarding dual citizenship? U.S. law does not mention dual nationality or require a person to choose one nationality or another. A U.S. citizen may naturalize in a foreign state without any risk to his or her U.S. citizenship. However, persons who acquire a foreign nationality after age 18 by applying for it may relinquish their U.S. nationality if they wish to do so. Also, dual citizens owe allegiance to both countries, in my experience, to both the U.S. and the Philippines. Dual nationals are required to obey the laws of both countries and either country has the right to enforce its laws. It is important to note the problems attendant to dual nationality. Claims of other countries upon U.S. dual nationals often place them in situations where their obligations to one country are in conflict with the laws of the other. In addition, their dual nationality may hamper efforts of the U.S. government to provide consular protection to them when they are abroad, especially when they are in the country of their second nationality. Now, if you are a dual national, what passports you should use when leaving or entering U.S.? What is the stand of the U.S. government regarding possession of two passports? U.S. nationals, including dual citizens, must use a U.S. passport to enter and leave the United States. Dual nationals may also be required by the foreign country to use its passport to enter and leave that country. Use of the foreign passport to travel to or from a country other than the U.S. is not inconsistent with U.S. law. It is your choice to use U.S. passport or your other passport to leave and enter U.S. Is U.S. going to ban dual citizenship? And what is the official stand of the U.S. regarding two nationalities or having dual citizenship. Also, I'm going to update you regarding a bill that is being introduced in Congress and this is regarding acquiring another foreign citizenship or affecting dual citizenship. Now, let's talk about the bill being introduced by two members of the House of Representatives and this was mentioned by Nomad Capitalists and I'm going to share the video clips with you later on. The bill being introduced is called the No Travel for Traffickers Act and these are being introduced by Representatives Burgess Owens and Steve Cohen. Congressman Owens and Cohen are leading to protect our security by introducing bipartisan legislation to clamp down on the dangerous practice by some countries who sell their citizenship and passports. The so-called golden passport schemes are abused by criminals and traffickers from around the world and this practice needs to come to an end. This bipartisan legislation, which is the No Travel for Traffickers Act, aims to revoke a country's eligibility for the U.S. visa waiver program if they participate 
in citizenship by investment the practice of selling passports in exchange in exchange for economic investment also known as golden passports so what is the purpose of this bill first to ban participation of countries that sell passports from participation in the u.s visa waiver program since i am also a dual citizen of the philippines Philippines is not a participant of the U.S. Visa Waiver Program. Second, the bill would like to mandate that the executive branch list publicly all countries with citizenship by investment or golden passport programs. Also, if you live in Europe, direct the executive branch to cooperate with the United Kingdom and the European Union to eliminate Schengen area visa free travel for countries that sell passports and lastly prohibit the use of u.s taxpayer funds to vet golden passport applicants so taxpayer dollars cannot be used to enable these corrupt programs politicians are talking we should listen especially in countries where the movement is going towards higher taxes fewer freedoms more regulations and so now you've got a couple of uh, congress people Representative Burgess Owens and Representative Steve Cohen are suggesting that the U.S. do a couple of different things towards citizenship by investment programs. You, uh, but bottom line is, this is where you go to a country and engage in a financial transaction where you give them money. I've recommended always in the form of a donation in exchange to uh, get citizenship. They take the money, they build roads, they build low-income housing, they do things because they're small countries that really impact their population. And in exchange, you get a passport. That means if you don't want to be a citizen of your country anymore, you can use that second passport to excuse yourself from your first country's citizenship and to be more free. It can also be a backup plan. You can keep it in your back pocket. You can travel. You can do business. You can invest as the citizen of a second country. And nothing about this is about hiding. If you're a U.S. citizen, you're subject to all the rules and regulations of being a U.S. citizen. Let me make that clear. If there are things where they don't accept Americans, they may not accept a dual citizen American. But there are other opportunities in the cryptocurrency space where having a second passport can help. And again, it's a great insurance policy, even if you're not going to utilize it right away. Uh, so here's what the U.S. wants to do. Because Western countries are becoming so increasingly desperate to keep people in their countries, paying higher taxes, paying the upcoming wealth taxes, dealing with whatever the governments can shove down their throats. If you are a U.S. citizen and you wanted to apply for a dual citizenship from another country or become a dual citizen, please share in the comment section below. Let me know your thoughts regarding this new bill. If you have any other questions or comments, please post them down below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Again, thank you guys for watching and if you haven't liked this video, please give it a big thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. I always welcome new subscribers. I hope everyone is staying safe and have a great day.